So covering this next generation of consoles has been really interesting because we have this constantly changing, evolving news cycle about them uh, because of the changes that are happening in the world. It looked like when this next generation of consoles got announced, everything was just going to be cut and dried and fairly simple. But unfortunately, that's not going to be the case due to the changes in people's personal lives as well as changes around the globe. Now, according to Bloomberg, uh, this has less to do with COVID-19 than you think. In fact, uh, Sony was discussing this long before COVID-19 was a thing. And now you take into consideration people's economic status, uh, manufacturing delays, shipping delays, and things along that lines. It's probably going to be harder than they'd originally anticipated to get your hands on a PlayStation 5 or to get them shipped over here. So I do see why a lot of people are thinking there might be a delay because it just doesn't make sense to release the console if nobody's able to find one to buy it. And I think another reason people are expecting a delay is not just manufacturing, but the fact that we still don't know what the physical box looks like. We don't know what it's going to look like on your shelf once you take it out of the cardboard box. If you go to the PlayStation 5 website, there's still no pictures of the actual console itself, as it's got a few people worried. Another big concern with this next console generation is going to be overall price. And as we see shortages of, of manufacturing materials, including memory, SSDs, and things along that lines, uh, we're going to see an increase of price of that hardware, which means, statistically speaking, the, the console manufacturers may pass that increased price on to you. According to this article by Bloomberg, they are estimating that the price for the PlayStation 4 will range anywhere between 450 bucks to 550 bucks for you to purchase. And it all comes down to memory and storage costs being very, very expensive right now. And this just does not bode well for the next console generation. Again, with the PlayStation 5, you're looking at a shortened supply, a price higher than most people were expecting to pay. And there are a lot of people right now who are financially struggling, either due to the stock market crashing or being put out of work or being forced to stay home. So not a lot of people are going to have $450 to spend. God forbid, $550. I mean, a $100 price difference is a huge, huge difference for a lot of people these days. But even if the consoles do launch on time, there's a very real possibility that some of the games that were originally slated for launch will not be available. Uh, we've seen other games getting delayed, most notably Last of Us Part Two, which is due to come out on the PlayStation 4, has been delayed indefinitely by the folks over at Naughty Dog because of the coronavirus. People are forced to work at home, and this is going to slow down production because working from home does have delayed productivity for a lot of people. It just makes it almost impossible to make some of these games come out on time. There's been speculation over the last couple of weeks that the major launch title for the next Xbox Series X, uh, Halo Infinite, might actually get delayed. Uh, but we have heard from the folks over at Microsoft saying that even if Halo Infinite does get delayed, that will not delay the Xbox Series X, but though honestly, maybe it should, because that's that's the game I think most people would be buying an Xbox for. Now, what all this means for this next console generation is I feel like there is far less hype than there possibly should be for this next generation. People are worried, people are scared, and I, I feel like all of that stuff will start to go away and people will get on the hype train once we have the digital events that really show off these consoles. Now, originally that stuff would have happened at E3 in June, but E3, of course, as we all know, has been canceled. So it's now up to the individual company when they decide to release this information, and they're there are rumors going that the PlayStation 5's main reveal event should happen sometime in May. And honestly, I don't think it could happen soon enough. I wish it was happening tomorrow because I really, really want this information. But I'm wondering if one of the reasons it may not come in May is because they still have a lot of design decisions and things to decide. Now, they are also saying that they will begin production of the console in June so that we'll be able to pick them up in the fall. But it, time, time is not on their side here, so we'll have to wait and see. And all of that's provided things stay the same. If things get any worse, you could see memory shortages. You could see storage shortages. You could see manpower shortages for the people who are supposed to manufacture these consoles. So we have to keep our fingers crossed, but that's mostly speculation and doom and gloom. As it is right now, it looks like we might be able to get the PlayStation 5 at a $450 to $550 price tag sometime in November. And it looks like the Xbox Series X should be about the same release time and the same price. Now, this is just a little side piece, but I find this really interesting. Um, if you were expecting this generation of consoles to not have its gimmicks, 
I think you should probably take a step back when you see this because Sony has now patented a PlayStation 5 companion robot for lonely gamers. Uh, saying that this could motivate gamers and make them feel a little bit more interested in the game, the same as having somebody else on your couch, like a teammate or a friend or a spouse or a housemate. Uh, whether or not this will actually enter production, whether or not this is something we will actually see, stands to be uh, determined. But as it is right now, they certainly filed the patent for this, and I, this figure here is hilarious. This makes the Kinect look pretty cool, honestly. But again, I mean, I grew up with Rob the Robot, so I, I welcome just about anything. I'm pretty lonely these days. I think we all could use a robot buddy to play video games with in quarantine. But there had also been a lot of rumors in the last year of, of PlayStation uh, really embracing virtual reality for this next generation, and we're still not exactly certain about that. We do know that uh, Microsoft was working a lot on augmented reality for a really long period of time. Don't think that's going to have anything to do with the Xbox Series X either. And if they were originally part of the plans, that's the kind of stuff that I think would get canceled so that they can focus on the devices themselves, bringing that stuff out in year two or three once they've manufactured the devices and once they've gotten them in the homes. So I think we're going to be relatively gimmick free. So that makes me want to ask you a question, and I want you to let me know down in the comments section below. Are you hyped for either of these devices? And if you are, are you going to be able to afford that uh, supposed $450 to $550 price tag or are you going to wait till that price comes down and if you are somebody who wants to pick these devices up at launch which launch titles are you looking forward to because as it is right now it seems like there's only going to be a handful of games available for these devices that we know of now as these digital releases come out i will cover that here on the channel we'll get to be more informed and we'll know but to ask the question uh, again that i started this video with am i expecting a delay I really don't think there will be, but I am expecting console shortages, and I think that's going to be a real issue for the people who want to adopt early, especially the people who want to play those launch titles on launch day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, guys, do me a favor, leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon.